The other night, my son Pomp just wouldn't go to sleep. So Lola and I go up there, find him reading. He says, Dad, tell me about going to BC one more time. So now I'm hit with this dilemma. Should I tell him a moral lesson or tell him what really happened? Would it be better if I were in cuffs? This is steelheading. Of course I'm going to lie and tell him a moral story. So we set off for a short drive, and it turns out we met this friendly Canadian Mountie on horseback who rewarded us for telling the truth. Oh, no. No, no. No. All for personal use. When we got to the Bulkley, the water was like chocolate milk, and Mr. Mark kept complaining about his hiney getting wet. But Sean and I didn't want to hurt his feelings, so we didn't say anything about his raincoat being tucked inside his waders. Then the funniest thing happened. Someone loosened Mr. Mark's real seat. Mark, he gets a fish on and his reel falls off. A big tree came stumbling down and smashed into his fish, and Mr. Sean had to run down river to save him. Mr. Mark was happy, happy, happy when he finally landed that fish, and he didn't use potty language. About time. The next morning, the river was unfishable. Is it blown? Yep, chocolate milk. It's blown. It's higher than yesterday. Oh, you're kidding. God. We are screwed. Yes, we are. So we decided to drive safely to the Babine. Do we have insurance coverage? I don't think so. Law and order, that's us every time. Oh, I'll race you. Go. When we got there, it was like a big petting zoo. See that poop, bear poop right there? The river was thick of trees, and the forest was even thicker with steelhead. Then we drove to the Kispy Ox and went to the shop of Bob Clay, who told us all about his bamboo rods, friendship, and conservation. I catch steelhead. Yeah, if I catch everything. Yeah. So if you had a terminal river fishery, it would be a lot better yeah. if I fished them in the river. Now, Mr. Sean has one of his rods, which means I need one too. His rods cast real good. The three of us were chasing steelhead with big black and blue flies, and then all of a sudden, the fish started to bite. Now, Mr. Sean caught a monster and was completely truthful about it weighing 20 pounds. That's my 20 pounder right there. You want to lengthen girth him? Yeah. It's just, this is called 20. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Mr. Mark caught the biggest fish of the whole trip, the biggest steelhead of his whole life, which is saying something because he's really old. Finally, your dad connected and released a beautiful wild steelhead. Roscoe's coming! Now remember, son, when you borrow something, take care of it like it's your own. Never play with fire and treat your body as a temple unto the Lord. Be respectful of foreign laws and always use the proper boat ramps. Bears are dangerous. Treat them with respect. Get out, hey. And if you spend enough time with your steelhead partners, you'll finish each other's you sentences. Have you ever seen anything like this? That, that's the biggest steelhead I think I've ever seen. And then my son starts asking about riding in a police car, and I say the story's over, and he wasn't reading Dr. Seuss anyway. That's my boy. <laughs> Is there any steelhead here? <laughs>